Hi guys, welcome back to our Pirate Vampire Coast campaign co-op thingy with Bob. See, Ragnarok, this is what happens when you throw the intro at me just before we start recording. So, in the last episode, we established um, kind of our main output. We got um, some treasure maps and we got some infamy, though Ragnarok is still beating me by eight points, apparently, or something like that. Oh, just barely. Um, oh. Yeah, I've established a pirate cove, and he burnt his city down. And, yeah, now we're off to Ragnarok's turn, where he's going on a crusade, by the looks of it. Um, about to. I, I need to get my mortars first. Oh, yes, of course. The sea comes right. Yeah, welcome back, everyone. See, all right, what? He's so cool with it. Welcome back, everyone. Yeah. It's, yeah. I hope you're all having a fine day, and I'm just there like, we're doing stuff, <laughs> and there's pirates. <laughs> Yeah. So smooth, oh, aren't man. they? <laughs> I don't know about that. I want to pick up my mortars, but I also want to upgrade upgrade my building here. The this uh, buried treasure, the plunder pile thing. Get more income coming in, but I can't afford to do both. That's just really unfortunate. All right, yeah, the mortars are available. How much are these things? Why can't I? Why can't I see the price of them? It's weird. Because you are unworthy. Oh, I've got to scroll down. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> why can't I see that? Have you thought about? That's almost as bad as the whole turn it off and on again. Yeah, no kidding. But then, but guys, if your mic's playing up, just <laughs> unplug it and plug it back in. I'm not letting that drop. It's... Don't spend two hours looking at settings. It's... All right, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Shadow's referring to I, I had an issue with my mic recently, and uh, it didn't seem to be working, and spent a couple hours messing around with my settings in the recording software and um, actually ended up uh, messing some of the settings up to be perfectly honest and then yeah the the next day well after I gave up finally the next day I realized that the mic wasn't uh, plugged in properly so yeah good times <laughs> uh, yeah. all right I don't think there's anything else I can do here I was really hoping that treasure would have been... I guess it's a little bit further on. Anyway. Ah, oh, shoot. I forgot to check the diplomacy. Whoops. Well, to be fair, when I looked at it, there wasn't much we could do, so I wouldn't mind too much. Um, how's yeah. my army doing? They're a bit knackered, but... They'll be fine. Could I get to that treasure? I do think it's a battle, though. But, uh, we'll give it a go. In my own time. Yes, in your own time. Good for you. Though, I won't fire battle if one is... Oh, no, there isn't. Fantastic. Fail cargo. A pigeon plucker pendant. That's... That's yeah. worth nothing. Um, But I can upgrade my settlement. Very nice. And yeah, I think we're good to go. So that was quick. Oh, I don't mess around. When you're when you're on your turn, I look at what I'm going to do and then just get on with it. Um, Got you. Got you. <laughs> but you it's one of the downfalls to go first in the stream. <laughs> You've got to remember what we did in the last episode and get yeah, on yeah, that's true. Tarantula Coast. You know what? As a guy who doesn't like spiders. I think I might just leave here. Um, <laughs> I've got to make my I way over my, here. The emblem kind of looks like a spider on my uh, on Sartosa's uh, and their it does coat a bit, of arms. It? Yeah, I mean, it's maybe that, a dragon and some snakes, isn't it? Well, I think I don't know. You you said that um, the faction leader she doesn't have legs. Maybe maybe that's that's how she gets around. She's got like a spider wheelchair or something it's a oh. skull with six snakes coming out of it oh is that what it oh, is oh no it's, oh, it's a snake okay, or yeah. tentacles it might be yeah. like an octopus sort of thing that they have oh, okay right right uh, yeah 
I don't know. It's ugly, whatever it is. It really is. What's mine? I don't even look at mine. It's um, mine's simple. It's just a skull with three like skeleton tentacles coming out of it. Master. Oh. But I do have a rather spiffing looking ship, waiting. so. Yeah, yeah, it is a good looking ship. I could really do with that research. I just realised how much casualties I'm taking because of that reef I'm parked in. <laughs> it's like, hmm, maybe I should have gone in there after the upgrade. Board uncovered. 1500 treasury. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, good God. The next treasure is uh, ways off. It's Where's... over here somewhere. Where, where's ways off? North, east, south, west? It's, it's uh, to the west there. If you scroll out, I got it circled there for you. Or I did. It's over in the... Uh, near Mexico. <laughs> near Mexico. Okay. Central America. More, more like Central America. Or... Could be, could be in the north of South America. You are the worst navigator ever. You... <laughs> it's over there somewhere. <laughs> right, so what you've just said, it's anywhere in this part of the court of the map. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Oh, pretty fantastic. Much. <laughs> this guy's is why he's a captain and not steering the ship um, or navigating or anything like that. Go in that general direction. Yeah. Do you think uh do you think four mortars is excessive or, no. or do you think <laughs> But how long is it gonna take you to get there and can you afford it? Uh I can afford it. Uh, it's it. gonna take a little while to get there. Do you want some more handgunners though? Anyway, I guess I'll, I'll sort that out later. I'll just pick up those mortars for now. I still can't afford my, my damned City upgrade. I guess I'll be able to afford it next turn. Your army's Quit got ability. Oh yeah. Yeah. If you go click on your army, so you can see the unit. There's a little green badge there. Super first forty-two pounders. Good armor, piss and damage, small. Oh. Okay. You can call an artillery support. Good armor, that's... piercing, damage. I assume that's the same thing I've got then. Oh, okay, it's uh, like a wind wind hmm. spell almost. Yeah, I don't even have that. So, And that's an army ability. That's interesting. That's in yeah, that's very interesting. Fear the pirate queen! What are we doing then? Are you thinking about waters? No, I'm just trying to trying to trying to get trade with uh, ah yeah with the um, the vampires that are down in the desert there. Do you mean the Tim Kings? The oh, what is the I can't the Star Ghost this. Empire? Yeah, the, the Star Ghost Empire. Mm. Did. The one yeah, with quite a big trade. fleet to the north. Did it? Mm. Alright, I'm, I'm getting concerned now that you've passed me in the infamy list. Only a tad. Only a tad, but. Oh, I've got I to be to get on the move. with the teeth snatchers. But if I do. Well, the ship goes up, my movement goes up, and I get 1500 treasury. Thief snatchers. What's my. <laughs> well, I put a non aggression pad, but I can't trade with them, so. Clear out. We'll, um. We'll declare war on them. And I won't bother you about them, because this is just so I can get in a war. There we go. My movement should be really, really good now. Yeah, no, that's that's pretty good movement I've got going. Yeah? Yeah, I could pretty much go back from there all the way back to my home island in one go. Oh, wow. That, um... 
pretty fast. That's upgrading. Can I recruit any heroes? No. Well, I don't want to recruit any wards yet. Um, you know what? Yeah, I think that's me done for this turn. Oh no, you discovered a load more people, didn't you? Let's see if we can trade with any of them quickly. What? You come bearing arms. That's a bit judgmental, isn't it? Try to speak to someone. Each one. You come bearing arms. It's like. <laughs> what, you want me to wear sleeves or something? I don't understand. Um, right, let's end the turn. That was a terrible joke, I'm sorry. But did you know this actually happened? Um, in America, this girl came into school with this really, like, skimpy little top on. Right? And they said, you can't yeah. wear that at school. Um, you have to oh, wear really? a uniform. And she has to turn yeah. around and says, but our madman says we have the right to bear arms. And so, oh my, and she meant it. She actually meant it. Everyone was there going, surely this is just a funny joke. No, she meant it. Oh my. The right to oh, bear arms. You. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> just, oh, God bless America. It's, um, yes. Yeah, I'm saying exactly the same thing. <laughs> right. I'm doing quite good with money. I don't know about you, but I've got like coming up two grand worth of income every turn. Uh, I, I'm about half that. Um, it's nice because yeah. in the last campaign Actually, you had a gold that. mine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was on the, and I was on the front line, so I was doing all the fights. You're there going, I'll just tech, try shadow. You're doing great. I've lost another settlement. You're fine. Oh, that was such a silly campaign. Oh man, yeah, I enjoy. I mean, sort of. <laughs> Mission issued, bury them bury them in lead. In battle, eliminate a lord belonging to any of the following enemies of Vampire Coast. Vampire Coast Mutineers or the Lizardmen Exlin Hopek. Okay. And then Oh, so that's the faction I the Vampire Coast Mutineers, it's the guys I just done. Yeah. Eliminate a lord. Yeah. All right, so I've got 16 turns to do that. So I wonder, if got time to get over there. I've just Pirates encountered a so fleet of orc pirates. Shot. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I do that the way. Even in 40k, you can have orc pirates, and they have the proper traditional pirate hat on. Yeah, um, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Orcs with pirate hats. Fantastic. But it's in the 41st millennium with ships in space and he's still got a pirate hat on. <laughs> it's... <laughs> uh, yeah. So, have you ever played any of like, the Dawn of Wars? Warhammer 40k Dawn no. of Wars? Uh, no, I've never played any of them. You've got this one where it's a serious campaign. So you've got Tyranids wiping out planets, Chaos trying to corrupt the Imperium trying to save it. The Orcs, there was in one of the mission, um, one of the campaigns is literally the Orc captain wants someone's hat and so he keeps okay. chasing after this character to try and get their hat that is it that is the whole <laughs> orc reason for being there oh my goodness it's i love the orcs in 41st millennium they're brilliant that's <laughs> ridiculous oh, look at you with all your mortars and your deck gunners and i know it's great right i was gonna say that's probably where your money's hey, going it's just paying fish. for the mortars and crap but it's paying for the troops yeah mm. Aim for the troops. All right, so let's see here. Let's get on the move. Time to get this, uh, this army, this fleet. You watch. You're gonna get there, and it'd be like three units to the guard on it. Oh no, that's a big army. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe I'll, maybe I'll leave them alone. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll change my mind and come over, come over this way and do that mission at the Fox Marsh. Yeah, because then you can get the objective, can't you? Yeah. I do have mortars. And I, I feel like the Bretonian troops are going to have a tough time with the mortars. Undead despoilers. Dealing with them. Morning well, I'm going to have to recruit and sort stuff out. Because, um... Yeah, um... A bit beaten. Red fleet, come on. Right. Now... 
Yeah. Do you know if we can, um, with with the fleet, can you recruit a general from your from from your ship, or, yes. or do you have to? Oh, really? Yes, she can. So, like a second a second commander, you can recruit right from the right from the fleet, eh? Yes, she can. Oh, that uh, that could really come in handy, actually. Well, let's have a look. Uh, I've, I've not really bothered looking at the buildings for the settlement, so I'm going to have to. Um. Yeah. Right. So, right, guys, I know what I'm doing. Sort of. What do you guys give me? Nice. You can literally one that upgrades is a tree and a noose. How does a noose cost a grand? It's literally a bit of rope. Uh, well, you gotta you, you gotta build the, you know, <laughs> the, the, the the thing that tie the rope on, or, or is it just are you just tying it on the tree? I, it just says a tree and a noose. Oh, All right. And what recruitment life. should I give my guys? Because Definitely needs recruit staff. Ends justify me. Can I raise any good dead? Um, oh, another unit handguns would be nice. Uh, yeah, and I'll end. Oh, diplomacy. Just see if there's anything I can trade with. Speaker, I may not hear you over the voices. Why do you pester? He doesn't like me, they don't like me, my subscribers don't like me, Ragnarok's not a huge fan, so we'll, um, we'll end my turn. <laughs> that seems like a sum up of my life and diplomacy. I'm also, here's a thing, obviously we're racing each other, but do you think we should try and outrace the other two playable factions as well? Well, I mean, we're, I, I, I guess, well, we might as well. I mean, we're, we're trying to get to the top, and I mean, if if we're going to be able to get to the top, I think we have to, good or point, we're going to yeah. have to pass those guys anyway, so. Yeah, that's a good point. I think, I think by default, we'll end up racing them. I love this orc fleet. It's so adorable. Even the boat is orc-themed. It's got a giant stone hammer on the front to drop when it rams ships. <laughs> that is brilliant. Where, um, so you're gaining infamy be from your your pirate cove there, right? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Is there somewhere where you can tell where where you're how much infamy you're gaining per turn? Uh, you know, I don't know. Yes, if you go on the fin, it's got um the swords, and you, so you go oh. to your right, and you can see. So I'm gotcha. getting twenty in for me a turn because of pirate coves. Ah, that's very handy. Now's hmm. the time. Ready the lever, flotilla of the dam. I really want that treasure that's down there. Yeah, I guess you could just send the hero, couldn't you? Uh, the hero can't pick it up. Uh, no. You need a general to do it. He's got a cute little ship, though, hasn't he? It's just... This is a little ship. Compared to the ship you've got... Oh. Northman come. I do know the way all the main pirate fleets have their own style ships. But the Norska one, just to your e west... It's got the Chaos Banner on it, it's got some Skos and the Oars yeah. when Vikings, it's... Alright, what are we going to research next? Ah, that's all down to you. Oh my goodness, there's so many different, uh, different options. I think... 
I think gunnery crew, firepower, get the mortars doing more damage, maybe? Of course. Or salvage crews, the replenishment rate for for zombies would be good too, I think. Actually, let's go with that. Ah, damn it. I wish I had a little bit more cash so I could recruit another general, though. That will probably put me in the negative. I don't know, should I risk taking on Bertoni here? That's a lot, like it's 18 units plus 6 Protector plus of the, realm. the garrison, that's another 6. Yeah, and oh, obviously that's... any cavalry, they can shut your mortars down really quickly. 30 units, oh, we can protect them. We've got the rotting Prometheus there. Pirate's life. It's gonna be wins. risky. It's gonna be risky, but... Could you not no just take the... Oh, right, yeah, it's... <laughs> well, if it all goes wrong, I'll just take what's left. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's exactly it. Anyway, we'll have to wait till next turn before well, we get in well, there and do that. Well, if you wait there, they might come to you, so the settlement mm -hmm. stuff won't be there. Well, I'm not at war with them, though, so... Yeah. Oh, son of a gun. I, I should have dug for treasure there. I forgot about that. Gonna go that. Um, I don't like all these big fleets around my um my base. It's... Ah, they're harmless. I wouldn't worry about those guys. <laughs> they're harmless. Gentleman... Oh, we're dead. Gentleman Jenkins. <laughs> really? <laughs> I love it. And I shook the bloody. Right. Um, do I want to get them? I'll keep twenty sixty three. So that's. Should I get an army of bloaters? I mean, it would be gone after one battle, but it would be hysterical to see. Um, right. And I don't think there was any... My madness is not weak. I've decided not to kill you. Yeah, I don't think there's much going for me in regards to like, people Do I can you know trade who with. I am? Everyone seems to hate me. It's really sad. Right, you're... well, pass it on. I like the way a cannon goes off every time you end your turn. Very piratey. Yeah. But, I mean, hopefully they might come to you. Yeah, I, w I was hoping to pick up a, a second general there, and then I, I can maybe isolate the, the one army hmm. outside. I, I mean, it's only six units, but being able to get rid of those six units first would be... Would make things a lot easier. I might actually do that because I should have enough for the general now and then just wait one turn and then do the attack next turn. Oh dear, it looks like if I'm right, there's two Lizardman factions going at it. Oh, oh really? Yeah. <laughs> it's like the Skaven have taken the blood swamps. Oh boy. It looks like it. Well, it's it's been raised. The, either the Skaven have it territory. The blood swamps. Just trying to. Where's that? Uh, near the Star Tower, just south of uh, south of the Awakening. Ah, oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, because the Skaven faction does start there, don't they? Just south of there, you've got um, the Assassin ones and the Plague ones from the south. More moving, less moaning! Hmm. Alright, so, let's see here. We're going to recruit a general. Are we doing some okay. sneakiness here? Yeah. Fire starter. Oh, you've got to worry about their loyalty too, eh? Makes sense. Yeah. Freaking pirates. Oh. Follow the code. Yeah. Well, it's not really rules. It's more of a guideline than anything. That's a film. We should try and get as many <laughs> like pirate film quotes or parts of the Caribbean 
within the series, but do it that it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> so we can get away I'm with. All right. So you said there's treasure over here on, on this island. Should I dig for treasure or should I raid? Um, Raiding. My thing says this. Um. Yeah, but it does say it's minor. Oh, uh, chance of finding an additional treasure map. Oh, it does say it's minor. All right. I'm just gonna raid for a turn. Yeah. And see if that draws them out, possibly. Hello. Vampire of the waves. I'm gonna send my treasure hunter, my agent, over to the new world. It looks like Tilia is uh, on their way to Sartosa. That's not good. Oh yeah, no, that that's really not good. Yeah, may have to get back up there. I mean, he's Leonardo. Leonardo, they're two turns away. I have the walls, and it's a pretty stout garrison. You do have a mortar as well. Let's not forget that. In the garrison, yeah. Anyway, I'll deal with that next turn, or try and try and find a solution for that next turn. See what we can do. Yeah, I really don't want to lose <laughs> the main settlement. I'll be fine. I can upgrade my ship. That would be really, really cool. Yeah, let's do that. I'd be silly not to. Oh, okay. So that does mean I've practically already ended my turn. Um. Yeah, what are you, you're parked over there at the ga Galleon's Graveyard, just... Oh, I could get some scurvy all dogs. Those, all that infamy from your pirate coves. <laughs> Is that annoying nice. you? Must be nice. <laughs> Chilling out in the Galleon's Graveyard, got your pirate... Which is getting me money as well. Ah, oh, man. Next turn, I'll be moving out. I guess the pirate coves, it has to be... It would have to be on like a like a water like like port one, yeah. Yeah, it has to be, yeah. I would imagine it has to be a port. I don't know. I bet you I guess some idiot go. Shadow, I'll give you two thousand gold if you can invade the high elves. It's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> or something nuts like that. So like, please don't do that. Yeah, to me. yeah, go for it. Take the uh, Eagle Gate, <laughs> <laughs> and you can only use bloaters. Um, <laughs> just watch these bloaters burst on the gate. Yeah, there you go. Oh, worth it. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it's definitely doable. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. <laughs> is, are they gonna come out? I, shall hear you out. I don't think so. Oh, they've opened Death negotiations with me. Ranks. The Knights of Arigo? They've declared war on me. <laughs> Why me? I'm not even near you. <laughs> Fine, but I'm dragging uh, you in with me. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> okay, then you don't have a choice, I, it do doesn't you? Even, it doesn't even allow me to yeah. decline. <laughs> Uh, uh, you laugh now. Uh, there yeah, we and, go. And now, now they're now they're. Oh man, and they're getting garrison. That oh, great. Thanks a lot. You're very Thanks welcome. You laugh. Ah, they're declaring war on shadows. I oh, find yeah. you're the ones that are going to attack. Uh yeah. What's their army though? Because obviously, if it's not too bad, you could defensively use mortars and that. Yeah, uh, they do have a. Do you have a ballista, and the garrison does have some Grail Knights. Ah. I think that's the, the Grail Knights are their only real, or sorry, trebuchet they have. And most of it's um, pole arms. A couple of archers, got about four archers in total. You know what? 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 Uh, because I've got the extra general there, it gives me the option to not control large arm. To either control large army or not control large army, and I think if I don't control large army, then that limits the army size to 20, uh, 20 units each. So I think they have to abide by that as well. <laughs> I think so. I, I'm not 100%, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. 
Wow. So, this is how we're going to end this episode, is watching um, Ragnarok after... Oh, look, uh, you know, you've declared war. He's the one that's going to get wiped out. Um, there's oh, no there... cavalry in the main army, which is nice. Yeah. Unfortunately, I've got a... It's a nice open battlefield, too. Hmm. But we don't get the opportunity to set the army up properly. Oh, yeah, because... We'd be... Well, would we, or would it be they just march on? No, because they're attacking the, the general that doesn't have any yeah. troops in the army. And we wait for that last little bit to go. Yeah, I can't believe they declared war on you. <laughs> That's totally ridiculous. Declare war on you and... Um... Yeah, drag me into it. Oh! Okay, so you're going to want to deploy that guy right on the right side. But we are on a raised hill. Yeah, so that should help a little bit. Oh, you've gifted but they're gonna the be, vampire. They're going to be on top of us right away, I would imagine. What's this guy's ability? Aspects of the Dread Knight. Okay. You know what? It might not be a bad idea to deploy her over here. And then just to run around this way. Um, just because if you deploy if you deploy her where she is right now, they're probably going to deploy all their troops over here. Whereas if you deploy there, I would think that they're going to deploy there, and that'll give give me time to set up and then and then give some units to you. I feel like you're just breaking the rules of the um, mechanic at this point. Hey, we're we're you know the odds are against us here, so. Got to do what we can. Let's get up there. Well, my battle now consists of watching this guy running for her life. Don't worry, I'll get you some units here in a moment. I just want to get organized a little bit. Oh, got Spirit Leech as well. That's nice. She's got some nice abilities, this one. I think they are going to focus more on you now. I think they are turning to face you. Yeah, but see, this way we've got time to actually that up a little bit. Right, Where's where do you want me? I see you're giving me all like the range support. Yeah, the range support. I'm thinking. Oh, son of a bitch, we're getting hit by the damn trebuchet already. It's not a problem. They're just hitting cannon fodder. Still, but <laughs> that's all we've got is cannon fodder. Oh, and this reminds me of a previous campaign we've had. Um, <laughs> you see the complete lack of anything useful. Yeah, there, that's our armies. Let me see if I can get my get my general out front and see if I can get them to target her with the mortar. Well, my guy's still running. Good, good, good. But I need to see where you're setting up your troops so I can deploy accordingly. I'm going to try and set up on this hill here. Basically. Yeah. What's the height difference? Quite good, actually. So if I get my guys over the angle, they should be able to shoot up over them. I guess the trebuchet has more range than the mortar, see? Makes sense. Oh, no. Don't forget, you've got the uh, the crabs too. Yeah. Yeah, I've got it. I've got it. I'm just keeping them at the back, so because they're gonna use their cavalry to try and probably get your artillery. How's the armies looking? Not too bad. What's these three units over there? Looks like just some spearmen. I don't have a good feeling about this. Yeah, he's shooting it all. Oh. 
Better get back. Right, they're only shooting your guys, so. Does your character have any magic? Uh, he's got a couple of abilities. are doing pretty good damage, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Where would you like the crabs to come in? Because I could go and warm the flanks. Sure, wherever you can, uh, wherever you can get them in there. After my lord. She's taking a lot of damage already. Maybe right in the center actually get after their characters. Would it? The guns might actually take them down, I don't know. Okay, there's a chance I'm shooting your own guys. I don't know how you feel about that. Ah, that's fine. Friendly fire that's, you know, whatever. So long as you kill more of them than us, then that's fine. That's good, I'm trying to shoot the reinforcements before they even get into the fight. to be holding up okay so far. It's hard to say. I mean, the mortars are doing, doing some good work, I think. They're trebuchet. It's almost out of ammo, I think. A few more rounds. I'm just surprised that the line is holding. Go, my possessed little crabs. Go! I think we're actually going to win this, surprisingly. I think it's all about the mortars. The mortars are... Oh, yeah, it's had nothing to do with my mating skills. <laughs> the mortars and the guns. Yeah, the guns have done really good as well. Just snipe them off as the reinforcements trying to get in. Yeah, I, I think that was the. One of the reasons why we really struggled in the previous campaign is that we didn't have any range, any range support, no. and and we didn't get um, our winds of magic and take advantage of the winds of magic. I am um, going for the triple says. All right, sounds good. I mean, they're almost out of ammunition, but yeah, don't take that away from me. I'm aware of this. No, I, I mean it'll be good to wipe that unit out actually because we're we're gonna have to follow up with another fight to yeah. take the settlement. So, you can get rid of them. Okay, the crabs, as they were running, they were actually stabbing the archers, pinning them down with their fit legs. <laughs> I didn't even see the. Oh, oh you know what? Lord's Son of coming for me. Alright, let's see if I can get some some guys back there. 
Right, I forgot that they're, they're gonna have a whole bunch of reinforcements coming on as well. So, yeah, this may not... Oh, we could also withdraw, that's another option. True, but we might as well try and kill as many as we can. Yeah. It'd be nice if we could actually run some of them down. We had some cavalry or something. Reinforcements have arrived. Right, they've all shattered. So I'm going to bring the crabs back now. Yeah, we're starting to lose our range stuff. Where's that commander gone? Your command. Oh dear. some semblance of order here. Yeah, I mean, they Best. still have quite a few units that kind of sat around. Yeah. Come here, Krabbies. Time to go. Alright, let's get the line back up. We've still got a little bit of ammunition on the mortars. The Lord is down. At least one of them, anyway. And if the reinforcements, yeah, they're coming in just all in a line there, so the mortar should be able to pick most of them off. So I hope so. Yeah. Also, I'm gonna make them question their decisions because I'm moving the crabs in to get the ballista again. But not the ballista. What am I about the trip say? We've got some archers, so I should be able to pick some of them off as well. We've got quite good defense here. Yeah, armor 120. Oh, knights, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, is that? I was wondering where the grail knights were. And they are the anti large, aren't they, grail knights? Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe. I'm pretty sure they are. My little babies are running as fast as they can. Those four crabs. Surprise! Yeah, they are just gonna fall apart now. Oh no! My poor Prometheus. You were thinking of getting rid of them on turn one. What are you all about? <laughs> yeah, it's true. This is what we need to do: is overwhelm them. They're though we are pushing them back. The crabs are actually making a run for it. Starting to run low on ammo. The yeah, they've got the Grail Knights coming up on our left. Yeah, those are gonna. The crabs are coming back. <laughs> they made it. Oh, that was a beautiful mortal got... shot there. What are you doing out there? Who? My commander's just like stood in the middle. I don't know if we've got anything that's going to be able to take down the Grail Knights. Get some mortar shots on them, see if that works. Blood, 
Yeah, the Grail Knights are just crushing everything. Right, we're getting some good shots on the ground night. He says as he runs out of ammunition. Yeah, just about. Oh man, I, I feel like if we could have done this battle in pieces, it would have been all right. But as it is, taking on the. You say that? I'm we're doing all right, man. We're doing all right. Just, just hold. As well. Uh, I don't know. Okay, we've lost the crab. All hope is lost. Yeah. So they're the Grail Knights. But nothing really to, to counter them. You say that, we're defeating the infantry. Yeah, the infantry... Come back though. I'm gonna send everybody at the Grail Knights. Try yeah. and get them to break. Fire the mortars into them as well if we can. Mortars are. Oh, oh, so look at all the infantry still coming up. Fleet Admiral! A good choice! Ah, uh, see, they, they broke and came back. I hope your mortars are firing onto those damn Grail Knights. Fleet, Admiral. Can't get them back on their... Ah, uh, that's because they're being attacked by the Mountain yeah. Game, man. Yeah. Oh, what a disaster. You say that, we've killed many of them. So it'd be easier when I come along. Oh, great. great. <laughs> well, they did declare war on me. It's, it's within my rights to do so. Get those mortar crews back on. I think I'm going to withdraw them, just try and save them. Fleet Admiral! So I'll hold off the infantry of your um, lord, said I. Just want to get. Yeah, I don't mind if that lord gets killed. The vampire. Does it make you feel better that she's actually making them all waver and that? On her own. Because she has confidence in my abilities to lead. <laughs> How's that retreat going? <laughs> Fleet, Admiral. Ah, damn Grail Knights. They've shattered. You're running away. I'm taking on all of the infantry and winning. They just shot archers and killed most of their own cavalry. Because <laughs> I'm one model. Oh, because you've left, he's deteriorating now. Uh, yeah. Well, that, uh, yeah, there we go. Valiant oh. defeat. It's so unfortunate. It's alright, it's not like there's a big army coming down on your capital to worry about. I got 192 kills of that woman. Wow. What's up, star? Well. <laughs> and look, the person I was in command of, I only lost one person. I, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, but look, you've absolutely destroyed them. I know, but I, I mean, they're going to replenish. And, yeah, and I've lost my army. 
<laughs> yeah, I oh, man, I really wish he didn't pull me into the war with them because I could have I could have dealt with them separately. Yeah, this is funny. Yeah. Hey, remember you said that <laughs> there'd be, because it's co-op, there's no way we can screw each other over. Mm -hmm, Ta -da! Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I just dragged you to a war you couldn't win. Ah, shit. Oh, brilliant. Uh, trebuchet, 133 kills. Yeah, but all I mean, the Maybe we should have... Yeah. Oh, maybe we should have done, like, a tactical withdrawal. Like, after we dealt with the first army. Yeah. 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 But then again, yeah, we did we feel confident because the, the other army was covered yeah. in bits. Yeah. It was just... Honestly, it was just really the Grail Knights that, that we couldn't deal with. Like, if we could have found some way to shut them down then i i feel like we would have won the battle like if they didn't have them yeah but we just didn't have the numbers did we in the end yeah that was yeah. i think the thing if we had the numbers of zombies just to swamp them yeah because i mean the mortars the mortars did a lot of damage to their um like their not only the troops but the morale yeah really yeah. huge oh wash them butt there you were a legend while you existed. Yeah. <laughs> 192 kills. And like I said, when your whole army was running, she was holding all of the infantry off and winning. Yeah. <laughs> it was insane. Oh, man. Unfortunately, they're going to be able to follow up and finish off my general. <laughs> Why? Your mortars only got nine kills. What happened there? Uh, that mortar came on onto the field late. That's why. Ah. And then, yeah. Curse them! They're gonna come after her. Yep. All right. Well, at least this will give me the opportunity to uh, defend Sartosa. Yeah, and see, I think they got like a fresh lord there because the the other lord got killed. Yeah. Ah, it's just great. Yeah, so maybe a bad <laughs> idea to go down there. Oh, uh, brilliant! And the tool captured on the internet, so it's it's eternal now. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm having flashbacks to the previous campaign. I'm doing fine. Uh, yeah, with your pirate coves camped out in your... Oh, and I'm teching up as well. A lot. Oh, oh great. Great. Anyway, it's okay. My income has just uh, skyrocketed. So. Well, that's alright. It's um, But I was going to say, you better do your turn, because if you remember, it saves when you end oh, the turn, right. really. Or when well, I end I'm... the turn. So we'll do our next turns and then finish off the episode. Yeah. Because I'm not gonna you're just gonna be recruiting that. Um Oh they've resettled the um Tilia has resettled the, the settlement that I burned there. Ah, uh, that's good, that was thrown down. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All bones on deck. It's a good thing you didn't get rid of that barracks in your city so you could build infantry. Well, Admiral. I can, I can still, I can actually recruit the, the, um, the, the Sartosa Free Company. Hmm. From the, uh, the, the smuggler's landing, allows me to, to, recruit uh, uh, human infantry and plus two i have the the raised dead option as well which i think actually no, i'll wait till next turn i don't think they have enough room to get there no they don't i think i'm safe safe for now ah there so. we go it's safe in there it looks like is it okay. it just came up so but yeah we'll, we'll end my turn because obviously last time we kind of got the routine where it was the end of my turn yeah but we'll, we'll just see how it goes, because obviously we don't want to lose progress. Oh, missions. 
Defeat a force belonging to the Vampire Coast Mutineers. You know, I think I could do that. Oh, brilliant. If I go back to that Poxmask, destroy the enemy again, because they haven't got any defences. Not only does my diplomacy with the Vampire Coast go up by 10, I gain 100 infamy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I'm going that way then. This is that great. This will take quite a while to get to 12,000 in for me, though. You say that. <laughs> anyway, um, right, is there any diplomacy to be had? Maybe I'll form a peace treaty with the guys that just slaughtered you. Maybe. Oh, wow. Wouldn't that be nice? That'd be hilarious if they met me. Yeah, we'll have a peace treaty. Right, there we go. But, um, no, that's pretty much my turn already done. Technology's nearly done, so, um, yeah, uh, we'll wrap it up there then. And then, get to it. So, is there any last words you'd like to say? Um, <laughs> how this episode's gone? Um, and the fact oh, that you I said there'd be like no way great. we could interfere with each other. I think I've just proven you wrong. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was good. Uh, yeah, um, a little bit behind uh, now. I have to catch up a little bit, but uh, it'll be all right. We'll be okay. So long as we can hold Sartosa, we'll be fine. We'll be I'm fine. I'm pretty sure they said, as you go up in the infamy thing, if you're higher up, people will come after you. So oh, okay, right. It could be, because I'm going up quicker, You, the people come after me, and it'll be that right, kind of right. bad yeah, that'd be Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, well, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, episode 3 will be next. Hope to see you then. Have yourselves a great day, and don't forget to uh, give us your feedback. Let us know uh, <laughs> what we're doing wrong and what you'd like to see in the campaign, if you got any side quests for us. And yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Fantastic. Take care. Bye.